Hello, let's get started. So I'm gonna welcome back to my 3.1 videos because I got some requests. It just that I need to redo a video because I made some errors and it's on section 3.1. It's basic differentiation rules. Chapter 3.1 is basic derivative rules. And in 2.8, we discuss about like how the f of x, f kind of how they are related. And this part, we're going to officially learn some shortcut, shortcut of the derivative as a rules. and operation. So we have, so first of all, I'm going to introduce, it is the addition law, addition law here. First one, or maybe you like a X exponent, or maybe like a power rule first, because it's easier to understand rather than like the rather than like addition and operation. So power rule. So which if f of x it is x to the n, make sure n is any constant, and if it's a zero, then it is the derivative is zero. Then we have is the dx, so x to the n, it is n x times n minus one. Yep. And that is all of how the rules and number two, let's introduce like constant rules. So if f of x is any constant, then the Derivative is a zero. And number three, the third one we introduce is constant multiple law. So if uh, if we if you multiply a function, any function or anything with a constant, then let's do this. If gx it is c times f of x, then we we'll introduce that the derivative of gx. So which is a c times f of x? It is 
C Right, so that provides it's a polar other constant. Then number four, you can introduce like this operation. Is a additional law. Just uh, because of it's just a different rule. Or any functions and we call them as a GX and HX. Different uh, rule we call them this is GX so GX plus HX it is GX so G of X plus GX so H of X. Lastly, as I'm going to refix my errors here because last last one last operation law is because like in in this section we're going to discuss like the basic. So now I'm going to talk about like the that what is a product rule, what is a quotient rule, the what is a chain rule, or any advanced technique. So I'm going to do add minus so number five. It is subtraction. It's the same thing as rule number five is dx of fx minus g of x. It is dx over f of x minus dx over g of x. Now let's do some. Uh, I think I still have one rule to introduce. It is the kind of exponential rule. Red down the color. That's embarrassing. I right? believe that had the pink. So you can see number six, an exponential rule. If m of x is dx, then the derivative is dx. So dx it is dx itself. Yes. Uh, let's do some examples here. Let's do some example. So example one. Is find the derivative so for y it is q 
two x to the cubic minus four dx. And the notation we can write this as y prime or dy dx or just whatever is. This is all indicate the derivative of function. So power rule, this power rule, this by two, right? It's just a two is a constant. We can apply a constant multiple rules. Minus four times the dx of dx. And then we just uh, do the operation and, and apply the loss. We get the y prime, it is three x to the square times two, it is six x squared minus four dx. It is the derivative that we want. Example number two here. Find the derivative if y it is 7x to the 11 plus 20dx minus 5x. This time we're going to write another notation, this dy dx. It's the new notation of the derivative. Seven, twenty, and five, they're all constant. So to make these things easier, we pull the constant out of the in front of each operation. And then we have is seven times e dx over x to the 11 plus 20 of e dx over dx minus five e dx of x. And then we just uh, do addition and subtraction. And we got expression of e y dx. It is 77x to the 10. So n x n minus one plus twenty x minus the derivative of x is just the one. So we do seventy seven x to the ten plus twenty x minus one, no minus five. And this is the derivative we want. Let's do another kind of a harder derivative. Find the derivative. If f of x, it is six x x to the six minus five x plus fourteen square root of x. Okay, so. I need to see like, okay, here's a fraction and here is like a radicals. You might want to, you may feel that even if you intimidated, you should chain rule. 
But there's some algebra tricks here. If you know the trick, you can solve this function easily. This is exponent one, six could be negative five. Rewrite the function to the exponent to the exponential to, to the exponential form. Plus working over x to one half, this will be much, much more easier. Rather than just like you stare at the radical, don't know how to do any operation. Yep. Just the final power rule, and on any rule that I mentioned before. At prime x, it is another notation. You know, it's going to be negative 30 x to the negative 6 minus 5 dx plus 7 x to the 1 to the negative half. Okay. So I have a if you some like advanced problem, so in this case, let's just what is the derivative is like derivative can indicate the following thing. Number one, the slope of a tangent line. Number two would be velocity and the acceleration if you're provide like the, the position function. Well, instantaneous velocity. Number three is like if you have the if you have velocity function and you want to find the acceleration, then just take the derivative of the velocity. And also the the derivative effect and the behavior of the function. And I'll introduce some like like a new concept is the final later in the in a in the final later in like the course it is on the slope point form of equation of a tangent line. Low point form. It is like y minus y y rho plus m of x minus x subscript o beer x o y o is the point on the curve.
So let's do some like example. Example four, find the slope by tangent line. At x equal to one to the curve. Is that f of x equal to x cubed minus x squared plus six at x equal to one? So let's think for the slope by tangent line, and you have f of x. The only thing. The next thing to do is find f prime of x and plugging at x to one of any a. So it's like f a is a point, the y value of the point, and f prime of a is the slope of the tangent line at the point. So we find it's like f prime of x, it is power rule, right? 3x to the cubic minus 2x. And I prime of 1, it is 1. So the slope by tangent line it is y minus is going to be just a 1, it's going to be 6. y0 is a 6. So this is a point of 1, 6, actually. The f point 1, it is. Six because one minus one is zero and zero plus six is six. One x minus one, it had to submit, we had this negative one and then plus six. So y equals two, x plus five is the equation. And the one is the slope. Do another one. Fine. The slope of the tangent line. To the curve is g of x is x is this and x equal to eight. Okay, this is just uh, as g x to the x up to the one third, so it's a point eight two. So basically what we find is like gx it is x to the one third at x equal to eight. So the point it is eight two. And g prime of x it is one third over x to the negative two over three. So it's going to be three x to the two over three over one. And g prime of eight is going to be eight times x to the four is one over 12. So one over 12 is the slope of the tangent line. 
to the curve at x thirty eight. And then, if f x is increasing, the derivative is positive. Also, I think the line, the derivative is zero. So, example number six, no, number, yeah, number six. Find the equation. of the tangent line to the curve, which I will find it as uh, f of x equal to 2x to the 5 minus 10 plus dx at x equal to two this time. Oh, how am I missing? Wow, this is a hard one, but it's not. If you find the derivative, it is just at prime of x, it is Wow, 10 x to the 4 plus dx and, and i prime of 2, it is 2 plus 4, it is 2 to the 4, this is 16, this is 160 plus e to the squared. x to the 2 is 54 plus ex. The 2. Order for the mistake. So it's like y minus 54 plus e to the squared equal to 160 plus e to the squared over x minus 2. You don't need to expand it. Just that, that is just the whole thing, the point so far. If you want to expand it, yeah, I could try it. Example number seven is to find where on the point as a horizontal hinge line. Horizontal tangent line. Oh, that's orange. So it is like perhaps we have it as uh, 
So hold the tangent line just when at g prime x it is a zero. And then we just compute what is the g prime of x. So g prime of x is a three x squared and minus four. Then it's like x squared is four over three. Then uh, x equal to plus minus, so like the square root of four over three. So x equal to is not going to be two over square root of three or minus two over square root of three. That's the point near the tangent line is a horizontal. Yep. So that is all for like 3.1. And next video, we can talk about 3.2, which is more the best differentiation rule. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.